Well, hello everybody. My name is Sarah and this is Pearls of Wisdom with Clean Intermittent Fasting and OMAD. That's what I've been doing. I just got notification that it's my channel's anniversary. I didn't click on to see how many years I've been doing it. I think it's about eight. But anyway, here we are. And some of you have been with me since Weight Watchers days. <laughs> I just remember sitting in the basement and setting up the tripod and all of that before, I guess, either I had a computer or the, I learned how to do it on the computer. This is certainly much easier. So I have my little microphone here, but I've gotten some feedback that there's feedback, and it sounds tinny. How... <laughs> What is going on? I need to rent a six-year-old to fix this. Can you send one over right away? I'll even wear a mask if you're, if you're um, wanting that. Anyway, um, oh, anyway, so it is, it is Monday, July 25th, and here we are. And when I wake up in the morning, the first thing that I ask for is a day of food abstinence, food sanity, and food sobriety. And, you know, it, it's for all things included. When I do my fast, as you know, it's just plain water, mineral water. I've been buying mineral water, the fuzzy, fizzy stuff. And it sits in the car and it's 100 degrees or more in the car. And then I open it up and I get a bath. I look like, you know, I've peed myself and I'm sweating up here because it goes everywhere. <laughs> but you got to get that water and you got to stay hydrated, right? So, anyway, um, I've been doing that, and then when it comes to my OMAD, I want the sanity, the abstinence, and the sobriety. So, I still plan in my head, even if I don't use my chronometer every day, <laughs> when, when you get lice, no. Um, and so, I still plan every day what I'm going to have yesterday. Omaha Steaks... Um, Greg got a gift card for me because he has so many points from the vendor for the heating and air conditioning equipment and stuff like that. That turned me on. Well, they're having a 50% sale right now, so I stocked up on swordfish and salmon pieces just enough. I'm not a huge um, seafood eater, but in those little vac packs of five ounces, five or six ounces, that works perfectly for me. So I ordered a bunch of them. So last night, I had salmon, fresh garden peas, asparagus, and an ear of corn. Oh my goodness, that was just a delightful summer meal. Then I had like a fruit cup after. I got some fresh um, hunks of pineapple dole from BJ's, and it, it's just divine. It is nature's candy for sure. I put a little Siggy's yogurt on it, and um, I was in heaven. It was just, it's just perfect in the summer. So I do enjoy the bounty of summer. I bought a thing of um, basil, or basil as some people call it, and it went bad in like two days. It, it's, it, because you can't put it in the refrigerator, but then the heat cooked it, and so it was all brown. It's just like, this is crazy. And then I laughed at myself, because I said I have to go get more, and then I laughed at myself like it's a big, like it's a big chore, I go grocery shopping for customers every day. <laughs> so anyway, you know, sometimes I get ideas from what customers are ordering. Sometimes I see new products. Sometimes I put things together that I wouldn't. Um, and so that's always fun to see what other people are having and how it all works out. My gut seems to be just happy with me having things like the peas, the corn, the asparagus, and not having things like lettuce. Does anybody else have that affliction with lettuce? Whatever. What happened? Why is it so deadly in the tummy? I just don't know. But when I do ask for that 24 hours of food sanity, food sobriety, and food abstinence, those three things are so important to me at this place in my recovery. I've been doing food recovery since I started in OA in 1978, I think. And it was in a bank basement, and it was brutally cold. I remember that. 
And um, that's when I began my journey. That's when I realized I'm a compulsive overeater that can turn into a binge. And, and it just, you know, all those things, it just plagued me forever. And I was doing it pretty much unconsciously. Back then I was still a drinker. I got sober in 1987. So after realizing that I had a problem with food, you know, I had nine more years of still drinking and eating. And I know that after I was done drinking or while I was drinking, that food always seemed like a good idea because all of the um, strength that I had in saying, no, thank you, right out the window. Yeah, let's go get a pizza. I know it's midnight. Who cares? Let's go for Chinese, you know, just horrible damage to my body. Of course, I was a whole lot younger then and probably got away with it, if there is such a thing. I weighed a lot more then. I didn't care about what I weighed. I realized that it, it was the brain part, and it's the brain part today. With the abstinence, the sobriety, and the sanity. You know, I can, I can understand the insane parts especially in the summer. Summer is so difficult. You know, when I shop for people, I see what people have, and it's just, it's just so much. Sometimes I spend the entire time in aisle eight with the Doritos and the Lay's and the Cape Cod chips and, and you know, all of those things. And, you know, it's not the French fries and things like that. It's the, the chips with the dogs and the burgers and the grilling and the, you know, a lot of people get the, um, Hans Kissel Red Bliss um, potato salad. I've always had an aversion to condiments, mayo, ketchups, most um, salad dressings. That's why I was just an Evu or avocado oil person only. So that transition made it easier because, as we know, bottled salad dressings begin with soybean oil, <laughs> unless you're getting something like um, my boyfriend Mark Sisson's brands. So anyway, um, it you know, summer is a tough, tough time. And if you're invited to all of these get-togethers, it's like, what am I going to have? How, how can I do it? What if you're eating OMAD? How do you do it? I remember a few years ago, I used, when I could get, have those salads, I had a beautiful um, glass, I think it was Martha Stewart, glass um, salad bowl like this, and I just made this huge salad. And I just, you know, I put the dressing on the bottom. And I could bring it anywhere with me and do do it then and there. I wasn't OMAD at that point yet, so definitely it was more like 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 years ago. And that suited me well back then. But then as I evolved into the OMAD and, um, and more keto, you know, it just became so much easier and freeing. And the only time that it was tough was at a cookout that was, you know, if, if people are doing cookouts at four or five in the afternoon and I'm ready to eat at two, I know that I've eaten before going to these things and just had water through the whole thing. Um, you know, we don't, we don't go out much. I mean, the pandemic took care of most of that sort of thing. So I'm just kind of cooking at home a lot. So anyway, those, those, um, backpack, pieces of fish from Omaha steak, the salmon and the swordfish, are just perfect. And to have them with some fresh veggies that aren't, um, I don't know what it is, that aren't salad-based, just seemed to have worked out for me. So I am delighted. And, uh, you know, sometimes I slow down and I think when I'm in produce, what is it here that I would love? And um, should I try it out again and see how my my gut does it, but I know what does work. And so there's enough variety in those sort of things that I'm happy. And um, it's, the, it's the sanity that is such a gift. Um, my brain is so busy about food. Yes, I think about food all the time because I'm shopping for it, but not in the um, obsessive, compulsive I have to have it now, even though it's 10 o'clock in the morning sort of thing that I used to do. I know that at 2 o'clock, that's the great part about the, the OMAD, is that if I'm really, you know, looking forward to something and really wanting something like those English garden peas that I got, I think they're by Dole, 
maybe Fresh Express. I was surprised to see them because I usually get them at Whole Foods for like $7.99. So these were nice. They're like $2.99, I think. Um, and so when I'm looking forward to something like that, I know that at 2 o'clock it's going to be in my feast of my one meal a day. So I can look forward to it. So there's, there's relief. And, and sometimes it's fun to look forward to the OMAD. I do that, so that's in my head, but it's not it's not the eating part, the the you know, going to have it going to cheat. Remember when we use those words? I just don't like those words. So life goes on and it's pretty darn good to have the clean intermittent fasting and the OMAD. And uh, I am not one of those that's too hot to eat type of people. <laughs> I'm I'm still ready at two I'm like my cats, you know, um or they're like me, I don't know, which is it, at where it's like, when I'm ready at 2, I want my meal. So the 23, 24 hours of fasting before I sit down to my OMAD is plenty of OMAD. It's been working, and I'm not knocking it at my age. Goodness, I went so many years <laughs> without, without having a break, and, and now it just seems like such a gift. So it's the abstinence, the sanity, and the sobriety around food and not going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs and all of that kind of stuff. Well, I'm so glad you're here. I hope you're having a great summer and everything is working out for you. And, you know, I, somebody wrote me about the scale. You know, that's a, whole, that's a whole video in itself, but I weigh myself once a month. I have my little green my little green book here that I've kept for years and it gets written in and that's that. It's just, it's, it's, it's not going to make me crazy because so far the last three months I have stayed the exact same weight, even the point something number. I can't believe it. It's like the scale is broken or something. I'll take it. But that's, you know, and getting to that maintenance weight is great and so I don't go crazy when I weigh and if I do gain August 1st when I weigh myself oh well you know it's it's what it is and it's not going to make me crazy because it's once a month and I know our bodies fluctuate it's good to have a around I weigh around right and it's maintenance and working on it I also enjoy food, so I don't deprive myself of things. So it's it's a balance of <clears throat> maintenance and not having food deprivation and the brain. It's like a triangle, right? Always thinking about making sure that I take care of what I want to eat. I eat what I eat in a reasonable, you know, time in the OMAD and that... Um, I'm, I'm not going crazy about it because life is life. And with all we have going on right now, enjoy the bounty of your meal. But keep the surrounding stuff, keep it, you know, sane. Keep it abstinent. Keep it, like, in whatever your sobriety would be. And it's not that one bite more that leads to, woo, I know that one bite more that leads to the <laughs> mountain of food. I'm very familiar with that. So it's one day at a time. Don't beat yourself up. Put the scale away. It's great weighing myself once a month because I literally have to dust off the scale. I'll take it. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Sarah. Clean, intermittent fasting and some pearls of wisdom thrown in. I'll see you here the next time. Bye-bye for now.